It's time to go slightly more in depth with AMD's newest processor and go over some really cool features not many are talking about. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. For anyone who hasn't heard, AMD officially unveiled two of their upcoming Ryzen mobile chips, and while these APUs don't come with the fastest GPUs around, they do have some impressive graphics processing capabilities for an integrated system on a chip. If you want to learn more about their broad specifications, check out my video on just that right up top. With that said, this is going to be more of an overview of some more obscure but really great features on the new Ryzen mobile APUs. The first interesting inclusion with Ryzen Mobile is something not many outlets are talking about, and that is its support for FreeSync. And both Ryzen Mobile chips will support FreeSync 2, which, to my knowledge, is the first time any mobile system on a chip has supported variable refresh technology. Now you may have been slightly taken back when I said FreeSync 2, seeing as many probably aren't too familiar with it. Well, FreeSync 2 was announced back in January of this year and essentially does two things. For one, it adds to the standards required from FreeSync 1. So FreeSync 2 monitors are effectively better quality. Second, it changes the pipeline Microsoft uses for HDR, which is really bad for adding input lag, something that's not exactly a good thing when trying to game. All of this comes together to give Ryzen Mumble laptops the ability to use variable refresh and utilize much better HDR when in games. If the monitor on the notebook includes the display technology to take advantage of it, of course. The second thing AMD packed into their newest mobile chips is what they're calling Precision Boost 2. Essentially, instead of looking at how many cores are under load and determining the clock from that, given it's good on power, headroom, and temperature, Precision Boost 2 actually looks at how much load is being applied, the battery life, and really quite a few other factors to determine the best clock it can provide. This allows for all core clock boosts and to more efficiently handle different situations. Another interesting addition when it comes to better performance is XFR, or Extended Frequency Range. This means Ryzen Mobile has the capability of boosting the average clock speed Precision Boost 2 runs, but this does increase power requirements, which in turn increases TDP. Due to the nature of laptops having certain obvious power limitations, like a battery, not much heat dissipation, etc., not many laptops will be allowed by AMD to include this feature, but for laptops capable of handling the extra power draw and heat, AMD will make exceptions. So that can be interesting for those wanting a little extra boost in performance. The last thing is something that heavily reduces power draw and raises efficiency on the chips, and that's per core voltage and frequency regulation. Meaning, instead of setting a particular voltage or frequency for the entire chip, it's able to have power sent to individual cores as that are needed instead of the whole chip for only one core's power needs. This same technology also gave AMD the opportunity to add extra sleep states that put certain aspects of the chip asleep while leaving other parts open to run, making for an even more efficient processor. Basically, AMD has gone all out when it comes to their mobile chips, and so far, it seems to have paid off in both performance and efficiency. So while that does it for today, what do you think of AMD's newest Ryzen mobile APUs? Ready to get one or still wanting to hold off and see what the AMD and Intel team up will unveil? Let me know down in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.